heard a few stories from parents about children who spend money online by mistake. My favourite one is the one about the child who spent over a hundred pounds feeding his virtual dinosaur. However, spending money in an online game is no laughing matter and children often don't realise what they're doing. Lots of young people enjoy gaming online, whether it's Candy Crush on a smartphone or FIFA on a games console. But in-app purchases can be difficult to resist. According to the Safer Online Gambling Group, children in the UK spend over £270 million every year on loot boxes and other in-app purchases. Loot boxes are like an online lucky dip. They look exciting and sparkly like a present. Without knowing what's inside, gamers can earn or buy the privilege of opening a loot box. Once in a while, the contents are exciting as promised, but most of the time, it's not all that. However, the gamer gets hooked into thinking that the next one will have something good inside or the next, or the next, or the next. As well as getting sucked into the game, children can also feel under pressure to buy extra equipment or costumes or to get the next level so they can keep up with their friends. And it's not always clear whether the in-game currency is earned in the game or equivalent to cold, hard cash. Even if it isn't real, once a child's used to playing with play money, it's easier to move on to the real thing because if they're spending online, it feels like the play money that they're used to. Whether your child is spending money online by mistake or is struggling to manage how much they spend in a game, you can help protect them by managing their settings on the device itself or in the game. Have a look at our video on how to set parental controls. You can find it on our YouTube channel. Don't share your bank card pin or passwords with your child. And for older children and young people, consider setting up a separate bank account for gaming activity or using gift cards for in-game purchases. Most importantly, talk to your child about spending money online, what they can and cannot spend money on. You could also set up a system for saving pocket money for online spending. So there's a cooling down period for them to think about what they want to buy rather than spending in the heat of the moment. Finally, remember to remind your children that they can come to you if they're not sure about the game they're playing and whether they might be spending money by mistake. From everyone at TechSafe, happy gaming. Mm -hmm.